uh, reboot is in Photoshop. Of course, I am planning on creating all kinds of super cool, super awesome videos for photographers, moms, anybody who loves to take photographs as much as I do, <laughs> which is a lot. So, um, also, excuse my mess. I know it is super messy in here. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start with image number one. And uh, this is a really beautiful uh, photograph I really, really love. It's a little bit saturated. I'm going to cool it down a little bit with a light leak uh, shining through the back of this little girl. So to do that, I'm going to create an, a light leak overlay. So I'm going to press File, New. Um, we're going to make it 12 inches by 8 inches at 300 uh, pixels. And I'm going to press OK. Now we want the background to be gray for this one. Uh, that allows for my colors to be very, very saturated and beautiful when I change uh, the blending mode and apply this to my photograph. So I'm going to click on Edit, Fill, 50% uh, gray, which you will find towards the bottom here. Press OK. Ta-da! OK. Next step is to click on your little square down at the bottom, create a new layer. And I am going to select my paintbrush. It can be soft. Uh, hard edged, it really doesn't matter because we're going to blur this layer in a moment. I'm going to pick my colors. For this specific photo, I'm going to use pink and yellow just because I thought it would look pretty cool. <laughs> so that's what we're going with. And here we go. So I'm just going to paint this right on top here. My opacity for my brush is at 29%. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to bring that up to 100%. And there's really no method to my madness. I'm just painting around the edges here, just wherever, doodling. And next, I also have to apologize, my computer is running super, super slow today for some reason. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but it really is. So next, I'm going to paint with a yellow brush. Like a yellow golden tone here. And still just kind of painting wherever. Okay, so I really like that, and next I'm going to select filter, uh, let's see here, where's blur, there it is, and gosh and blur. Okay, I'm going to blur the heck out of this image, okay, um, so I'm going to bring this up to 361, notice how blurry and creamy that looks, I love it. We are going to keep it uh, just where it was at the 360%. And we're going to wait for this to blur, and of course it's taking forever, shouldn't on your computer. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm going to layer and flatten my image. Um, I just click on my image and drag it over, but I hear that versions of Elements don't do that. If that's the case, you'll just want to save it first, file, um, save, and then you can click on your image you're applying it to, click uh, file, I really can talk today, I promise, <laughs> file, um, place, and after you select place, you can scroll and select your image or your overlay that you just saved, and it will apply it to your image, okay? So I'm going to click it and drag it because it's easier for me to do that. There we go. And now I'm just going to place it on my image. Notice how I still have my move tool selected. Okay, so now I'm going to change my blending mode to hard light. That's quite saturated. So I'm going to bring the saturation down to zero and just work my way up until I find I'm liking it best. And I really like it where it is. However, I don't like the color on her face. So I'm just going to click on the square with the circle in it. And uh, click that created a layer mask. I'm going to click on it, bring black to my foreground color, select a soft brush. Okay, I'm going to make that larger with my bracket keys. And I'm going to bring my opacity down to 30%. And I'm just going to paint over her face. The more times you click and drag your brush, the more it will wipe off of her face. Notice in my layer mask, you can see the little black spots. That's where I've painted the effect off of her face. And now notice how I've got a really beautiful, gorgeous color pop coming behind her. Um, I love it. And the best part is, I can actually save that overlay and use it next time. Um, there's no right or wrong way to create these. Again, you saw how super, super simple it was. So, um, this one we're not creating an overlay for. We're just going to apply the effect directly to the photograph. Uh, let's 
see here. So to do that, I clicked on my little half circle down at the bottom. I'm selecting solid color. I want a really super warm orangey tone. There we go. Got it. So um, notice how I've got my built-in layer mask. I'm going to click on it. Make sure black and white are my uh, colors. I'm going to bring white to my foreground color, actually. And I'm going to select the gradient tool. Okay, I'm just going to click and drag here. Notice how I also have this little shiny diamond. Ah, t shiny. <laughs> it's not really shiny. Um, twinkle, twinkly looking diamond. I don't know if that's right. Uh, but that's what I've got selected here and that's what I'm using. You can use any of these filters and get really cool effects. I don't use this one that often right here. But um, just try it out and see what uh, happens. So I'm going to click and drag. I like making long strokes when I drag um, the gradient tool just because it makes it more faded and graduated um, as far as the effect. So I really like that. I'm going to switch the mode to hard light. Look at how saturated and beautiful that is. I'm just messing with the opacity here. I'm going to duplicate my layer by clicking on it and dragging and dropping to this little layer sheet here. There we go. Okay, so I've got my gradient tool selected, and I'm just going to drag again a little bit longer this time, and look at that beautiful hazy glow I've got going on here. Hard light, there we go. I can change the opacity so it's not quite as strong. I've got a beautiful glow coming in on the side of my photograph. I love it. That was super simple uh, to do. Again, it's um, you can do this in any version of Photoshop, literally, and have tons and tons of fun with your photographs. Um, so thanks so much for tuning in. Again, this um, series, photo series, is going to be all about uh, photographers who just love to take photographs. And that wasn't really what I wanted. <laughs> okay, hold on. watching. If you use any of these steps used in my tutorial, please share on Facebook or Twitter using hashtag Amanda's Actions. I love you guys and I will see you all next time. Bye. I don't know why I'm waving. This is a voiceover. <laughs>